So, as you guys know, I'm a insane, insane Huzikaze fan. I couldn't wait until the stream to listen to it. So I've actually already listened to it. So it's not technically my first time listening. I've been following Huzi on Instagram a lot. And on his Instagram, he posted a lot of movie teasers. And the movie teaser already had the song in there. And it was so good, I already archived and everything. So I already know what the song sounds like. But still, I'm going to do a reaction. The song is called Overflow in English. Should we get to it? Should we go listen to it right now? Things change. And we can do nothing about it. Just letting go, feeling lighter, and becoming filled, overflowing. <sighs> that kick, there's a slight kick in the chord. You guys heard that, right? This is also Huzi. He dressed up as an old man. He old himself. It's already, it's already so good. <laughs> and the lyrics are really nice as well. Huzi looks handsome even as old man. I think the music video is really nice too. Hey, <laughs> American Hoozie, American Hoozie. He fits the suit so well, you know, with his mustache. Yeah. Been misusing the word love. Wow. He's a good actor as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Yeah. It's such a good melody, it's such a good melody. You know, is this Boston? Or is it New York? Oh, it's New York, right? Okay, it looked like Boston for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> this is like a baby Huzikaze. Ah, oh, the melody is... And the lyrics. And his tone is so good that it's so easy to listen to. Let's go. Come 
哇！哇！哈哈！哈哈！啊 ！I love him smiling. I love him smiling. 啊 ！He died. Or fell asleep, and、um, there's a woman that he lost, or you know, I think that's what it is. <sighs> and he's no longer there. I think the idea is、uh, he had a woman he loved, but she died. Ah, <sighs> it's great. It's great. I think it looks really good with the movie teaser. I think the movie is called、uh, "April Come She Will." Ah man, it's great. It's really great. And going back to the song, I personally thought nowadays there are songs that move so fast. Songs nowadays are so desperate to catch listeners' attention. They throw in the most fanciest things in the first minute, you know, to capture everybody's attention. But then, listening to the Huzi song, it kind of felt like every moment was very. It was calm. And savory, like you know, without trying to show off too much, if that makes sense. And his voice is so calm, and the tone is so nice that it's just nice to kind of listen to. Like even if there isn't any fancy high notes or anything like that, it's just kind of a steady, really comfortable to listen to. So throughout the whole song, when I listen to it, I kind of got the sensation that like I'm just relaxing. And his voice tone is so good. You know, if you listen to who's he singing, you know that he sings in different techniques. Sometimes he sings in like, na na, you know, kind of like that. And sometimes he sings more powerfully. In this song, he kind of did the Shinunoga Iwa technique. You know, when he sings his calm song, he kind of sings like, da 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 da. You know, kind of like that. And in the chorus, he goes a little bit more energetic. Da 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 da. And what I like more is. The production technique is very calm. There's only piano and a few other instruments that are in there. You know, have you listened to his new song "Garden"? Garden, Grace. I could sort of see that Huzi's musical style is getting more and more minimalistic. So rather than like fully producing as he would on his initial songs, I think he's going for more of a classical. I honestly rated seven point five out of ten. I was thinking of going eight, but I think it will be eight after I listen to a little more. Just letting you guys know, seven point five is really high. It's really, really high. Above five means really high. Why not ten? I don't have a song that I give ten to. The highest song that I gave rating to in my life is Kirari. Kirari is like nine point two. So seven point five is insanely high. Ah, yeah. So guys, that was us listening to Michi Teiku. We should listen to it one more time. Yeah, let's. Oh wait, wait. It's gonna take down the. You know, it's gonna take down YouTube stream. <laughs>